Now we go to Colombia, where signatories to Colombia's 2016 peace accords were forced to leave the area after they had settled after the signing of agreements due to the lack of security guaranteed for them and their families. From Bogotá, our correspondent Hernán Tobar has the details. These images show the departure of more than 30 families from the territorial space for resettlement and training Urias Rondon Bereda El Jari in the municipality of La Macarena, Department of Meta to Don Sello in the Department of Caqueta, where there are already 40 families who have been individually displaced. But what caused the forced displacement of these peace signatories? This displacement is due to the fact that the government has not been able to guarantee the permanence and lives of the peace signatories in El Yari. There are 31 families, 61 people who are being displaced today. The humanitarian caravan carrying former combatants and their families was attacked by unidentified gunmen who opened fire. There is a truck burning and their lives and those of all other signatories who are accompanying them are at risk. We call on the international community, the social movement, the international community to defend peace, not to abandon us. Colombia and the international community cannot allow the violent to destroy Colombians' dream of peace. A familiar situation had already occurred the previous year when about 110 peace signatories and their families were forced to leave the territorial space of Ituango due to the presence of paramilitaries in this region of Antioquia department, to which is now added a new incident in the department of Meta. The absence of security guarantees from the government for the signatories of the peace agreement is evident. It is important to highlight that this forced displacement is due to the lack of comprehensive implementation of the peace agreement, especially with regard to safeguarding the security of former combatants. The government does not protect them in any way and instead sponsors forced displacement. The Presidential Councillor for Stabilization and Consolidation offered a statement on the incidents that took place in El Jari, offering a particular version of the events and assured that the security of former combatants is a priority for the Ivan Duque government. We were advancing in the way they chose with the support of the United Nations and the Ombudsman's office. A couple on a motorcycle attacked one of the vehicles without any consequences for any of the occupants. At this moment, the public forces, the army and the police are accompanying them, and very shortly the transfer will be restarted with absolute security. According to the Institute for Development and Peace Studies, so far this year 44 peace signatories have been assassinated. Since the signing of the agreements in 2016, the figure exceeds 290.